Hello everyone, this is Mr. Manning and uh, we're going to be doing a balance sheet together. Um, this is part of the fourth step of the accounting process. Uh, in the fourth step you create a balance sheet and you also create an income statement. So this video is going to be about the balance sheet and there will also be a video about how to do an income statement. Here are the items that you're going to need before you start the video. You will need a blank balance sheet. You will need your worksheet completed, which was the thing that you did back on step three. And as usual, you're going to need a pencil to write with. So go ahead and pause the video, get those things in front of you, and whenever you're ready, start the video again and we'll get going. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I hope you have all of the items that you need in front of you. You can see that I have over here on the left hand side, I have my completed worksheet and over here on the right hand side I have a blank balance sheet. So before we begin let's talk a little bit about uh, what a balance sheet is, uh, when you do one of these, and what's the main purpose of it. So first of all uh, a balance sheet is a document that you create on the very last day of the month. Uh, it is done on the same time as the worksheet and the income statement and step five uh, which you haven't got to yet. Um, so the last day of the month is a pretty busy time for an accountant. Now, why do you do one of these things? Well, the balance sheet, the whole purpose of it is to prove the accounting equation. And if you have forgotten what the accounting equation is, basically it is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So the purpose of the balance sheet is to prove that that equation is correct. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, over here on the left hand side I've got a blank balance sheet and just like my worksheet I need to put in a heading up here at the top. A heading is put on every single accounting document and it's just kind of an introduction to what it is. It has the business's name, what the document is, and when you are creating it. So the name of our business is Extreme Adventures. This is a balance sheet and I am creating this on May 31st, 2014. All right, now you'll notice on the balance sheet there's mainly two sections. There is a section here on the left that has a place for accounts and for balances. And then there's a place right here for more accounts and more balances. Um, if you remember on the accounting equation, Assets were on the left-hand side of the equation, and liabilities and owner's equity are on the right-hand side. The balance sheet is done the exact same way. I am going to list all of my assets that my business has. Uh, just a reminder, those are the 100 accounts. So I'm going to list all of my asset accounts right here, and I'm going to list their current balance right here. And then I'm going on the right-hand side here, I'm going to list my liabilities and my owner's equity right here and their balances right here. So let's start with assets. Uh, at the very top centered you're going to put assets. It's just kind of a heading. Directly beneath that you're going to record every single asset account that you have. One reason that I have my worksheet in front of me, that's this right here, is there's this section on my worksheet that's actually called balance sheet. And the reason you've done that is to help you see what accounts are part of the balance sheet. So you mainly need to focus on this area right here when you're creating the balance sheet. Pretty much all of your numbers are going to come from this section right here. All right, I'm going to start with my assets and you just put them in order. So cash, petty cash, accounts receivable, Matterhorn, Accounts Receivable, Midwest College, uh, Supplies, and Prepaid Insurance. Now those are all of my asset accounts. If I wasn't 100% sure which ones were assets, I could go to my ledgers and look at all of the 100 accounts, um, or it is listed for you on your very first transactions page. Now, right next to my asset accounts, I need to put their current balance. 
and I am going to find those numbers right here on the balance sheet section. So current balance of cash is $14,075. Petty cash is $250. Accounts receivable Matterhorn University, $425. Accounts receivable Midwest College, $125. Supplies, $620. Prepaid insurance, $1,000. All right, after you have listed all of your accounts and their balances, you need to find the total. So I'm going to put uh, right here at the bottom, I'm going to put total assets. And I'm going to add up all of these numbers. OK, I've got them added up. And I got 16495 All right. You might notice that I have a double line right here. Um, a double line just shows that you are at the end of the column. You technically shouldn't double line anything until you um, show that it is equal with something else. So putting a double line right there might be a little premature. I'm actually going to take that double line off until I am positive that that is the correct number. I am, however, going to draw a line right here. It's just going to be a thick bottom border. And that just helps me see that there was uh, some addition that happened here. It just kind of helps separate all the accounts from the total. OK, over here on the right hand side, I'm going to do my liabilities and my owner's equity. So I'm going to list liabilities. And I only have two liability accounts. Those are the ones that start with 200. Uh, I have accounts payable done supplies and accounts payable greenway supplies. So let me list them over here. All right. My current balance on accounts payable done supplies is $400. And on Greenway Supplies, it's 120. If you're not sure where I found those numbers, they are located right here, still in my balance sheet section. That's the only liabilities I have, so I'm going to write total liabilities. And I'm going to add these two numbers together. 400 plus 120 equals $520. And once again, I'm going to put a line there just to show that I did a little bit of math just helps me see that uh, these two were added together. All right, now directly below that, I'm going to put owner's equity. Notice how I have it centered, just like I do liabilities and assets. That is just a little bit of a visual representation to show that those are the beginning of the categories. I have two owner's equity accounts. I have a capital account and I have a drawing account. So I'm going to put my owner's name, Brian Dawson, capital, Brian Dawson, drawing. OK, right now my capital account has $15,000 in it. And my drawing account has $200. Before we go any further, I need to talk a little bit about drawing. If you notice, um, my done supplies, my greenway supplies, and my capital accounts were all liability balances, or excuse me, credit balances, not liability balances, credit balances. However, drawing is a debit balance. So for me to be able to put this balance with all of my credits, I actually need to make it negative. And in accounting, to show that a number is negative, you put it in parentheses. So I'm going to put Parentheses, $200, just like that. All right. I also am going to include in my owner's equity my net income. Net income is the amount of money that your business either earned or lost throughout the month. I can find my net income on my worksheet. And it is right here. You can see where it says net income. And it's these two numbers that equal the same. On my balance sheet section, my net income is a credit. 
And since everything else on this side is a credit, except for drawing, which we made negative, I am just going to simply put 1,175 right here. Now, total owner's equity. I'm going to add up 15,000, negative 200, and 1,175. Okay, I've got it. It's 15,975. One more time, I'm going to put that line just to show that those were added together. All right, very last step. Uh, remember, the accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. To be able to show my liabilities plus owner's equity, I need to add up this number and this number. So, total liabilities and owner's equity. So 520 plus 15,975 equals 16,495. There's that double line again. This time I'm okay with it because 16,495 also equals what my total assets is. In fact, I'm going to put a double line on this one. This shows that I am at the end of each column and that it equals what it's supposed to. That's it, guys. That's a balance sheet. Uh, if you haven't already done so, you can now move on to your income statement, which is the next video. Thank you.